Kevin Rand here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Genesee County, New York, our Rags to Riches series here. Also contracting series as well, by the way, of course. And uh, speaking of contracts here, I've got our little uh, Kubota tractor out here with our weeder on it. We got uh, field, I think it was field six, right? I think that was the field we were supposed to be on. I might have to double check that here a minute. Yeah, field six right up here. And uh, speaking of contracts, by the way, we've got a couple of contracts to work on here at this episode. Not a whole lot. Um, yeah, no, not interested. Also, ooh, actually, you know what? Field 33, that one might not be too bad. We'll maybe, uh, accept the contract on that one. Um, yeah, and the rest of that one, yeah, not, not interested in a whole lot of the rest of these here. So, a couple fertilizing contracts, uh, liming contract. We're almost done with that one. That's the one we were working on here at last episode. And then, by the way, of course, since last episode, I've finished up all the other, uh, contracts we were working on, too, by the way. So, just a couple of contracts left here at this point. I actually might even be able to make uh, some pretty good headway on these here this episode. We'll have to see once here, but let's see. Field six, yep. Uh, two, yeah, that should be pretty good. We'll just uh, leave those settings right where they're at. Hopefully that'll work. First waypoint, drive the course. Yeah, this is definitely probably one job. I mean, I don't necessarily... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, never mind. I guess I could do this job myself. Apparently this is just a field of weeds. Okay. Better double check and make sure this actually worked too before we... Uh, Go too much further here. Yield six, still saying zero percent. Wow, this is not a very high dollar con. No, twelve thousand for field six. Wow, that is uh, I mean this is a good sized field. I mean for not a lot of money. I mean like if we were to like fertilize or plant or probably even like cultivate this field, it'd probably be twice this amount. Uh, maybe it figures you're going to use a bigger weeder, which uh, we could potentially do, maybe, Evan. Although, if you remember way back when we started this series, we had some issue with weeders. Um, the contract would say you could use this type of weeder, but uh, you couldn't. You'd have to use the next size up. Now, I don't know with this one, everyone. Actually, I don't know. I I'm betting with this one because there's a lot of weeds. Maybe you would have to use the one we're using. I don't know. But anyway, it's working. We'll leave them to it. You know, of course, we'll take care of it. Not really that uh, big of a deal. Okay, let's go hop back over to, yeah, field 30. We're still working on the lime on that one here. I just sent the spreader back with another full thing of lime. I don't think we have a whole lot left here yet, but, um, okay then. What the heck? Why do you keep flipping over? Also, why, uh, there we go. Okay. Just, uh, playing something. I'm not sure what you would call that. <laughs> with the sprayer, but we finally got him flipped up the right way around. I don't know why he keeps flipping over there. I, I guess I'd have to see once what's actually happening to know, but whatever. Uh, these things are a little uh, top-heavy, of course. They even... Are you spread out as wide as you can go? Yep, guess so. And, of course, with uh, 25.1 yards of lime on there, that uh, that is just a wee bit of weight up there. Although, I, again, I got to say, I'm kind of surprised able to tip over because, I mean, even I've got to work pretty hard to tip it over when it's spread all the way out like that. Okay, nearest waypoint. Drive the course. That should be enough lime, hopefully, to finish that field. That's the problem with lime. I mean, lime contracts, you're constantly having to go back to get more lime. And, again, I haven't really addressed the whole, like, where do I get more lime problem here yet. Part of the problem is, yeah, I do have a couple pieces of equipment that can hold lime. But this thing holds 25 yards of lime. Like, I need something that holds, like, a lot of lime. I mean, like, a lot. Not the measly little, like, I'm going to have to make four trips, or three, two trips for sure with most of this stuff I have. Even, you know, just maybe one trip, you know, it'd be nice to, like, have enough to fill it up, at least, maybe twice, maybe three times, right? Okay, speaking of what, let's head over to the next uh, spreader. There we go. Are we, uh, are we on the field we need to be on here? I don't even know where that is at. Actually, let's go check. What's the contract here? So we have field 33 and, oh, I should probably do something with 15 too. Yeah, uh, 33 and 51. What field am I on here at the moment? I think I'm on 51. Okay, I was planning on doing this uh, contract myself, but before I do that, I, mean, I might go get the cultivating tractor going here first a minute. So if we've got enough fertilizer, I would think that'd be enough for this uh, field, right? Yeah, maybe. And we still have, what, one more liming contract to go yet? And then one more fertilizing contract. 
Again, not uh, not too bad on the contracts here for the month of September. When we're getting uh, a decent amount here. Like I said, the uh, contracting mods I'm using definitely seem to be helping uh, quite a bit with that. Okay, Field 15 cultivating, huh? Okay, where is our cultivating tractor? There we go. Oh, and tabbing through the fence reminds me of it. We'll have to tell you folks about that story here in just a second. Let me get this uh, set up here first, though. Where are we at here with this? Be nice. To, like, is there a way to like, uh, okay, zoom the map? Yeah. Okay. Well, where am I on the map? I feel thirty-six. Okay. Field 36. Ah, we're down by 42 there. Okay. And we need to go to field 15. Oh, I think that's the one way down by the cell point, isn't it? We'll let the uh, course play. Or, I'm sorry. I always keep getting course play and auto drive mixed up all the time. We'll let auto drive handle uh, making its way down there. Okay, and back out to the road here. We'll turn you on. Well, let me get a little bit further out. There we go. Make sure he gets in the right direction there, hopefully. Oh, he needs to go to the refuel station. Okay, well, that's, uh, I think he's going there now, I think. That should be good. I don't think I actually have to change him, so he should head there. And then uh, the cool thing, too, Evan, with auto drive, if he is able to refuel, he will then continue on to 15. Now, I don't know if that tractor and cultivator will actually fit in the fuel station. That might be a... <laughs> Might be a problem we have to solve, but uh, if he's able to, uh, it should be a seamless, uh, seamless operation there. Okay, let's get some uh, GPS going here, and actually, let's, like, stop. Like, stop. Why are you moving? I don't know. Weird. Yeah. We need to do... What do we want to do? Actually, that's a good question. 300. Eh, let's try 358. What do you folks think? Does that sound pretty good? And do I not have lines? No, I do have lines. Where's my lines? There we go. Why are you moving? You should not be moving. Like, stop moving. Like, back up. Okay, what the heck's up? What, what, uh, what are you doing here? And go. And go. Speed control set? What the heck's going? Okay. And go. And... Mm -hmm. Why we no go here? Okay, I'm gonna... Apparently, I've got, like... Uh, like, why you no go? Uh, am I missing something here, everyone? It okay, doesn't go. Speed control, uh, cruise, what? Oh, there it goes. Okay, that was weird. Now it doesn't, what? what? Okay, I'm, I'm confused. No, why, you know, what in the world's going on here? It doesn't, it, like, it went there a second. If I unlock the GPS, okay. GPS unlocked, it wants to go. It's acting weird, though. Lock on GPS, cruise control. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's gonna cruise control backwards. Like, okay, that that is no, we need to go forward. There we go. Okay, no idea. I'm not sure what was going on there. That was that was really weird. Let me shift that GPS over just a little bit there. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long to finish this contract. Having fertilizing contracts usually always go quite uh, quickly. You know, it always helps when you have, uh, I think it was this 30 meter spread width or 100 and, well, was 105 essentially per the GPS here. So 105 foot spread width.
aim right for the trees there. Turn that off. Oh, brakes. Whoa. Okay. Note to self. Check the brakes. Ah, that's right. I remember that. The brakes on these things, that one are less than spectacular, right? Come on. Go. I don't know why this thing's being so derpy driving here, but... Lock on the GPS. Hey, look at that. Even with a slightly poor alignment there, it actually still got it yet. I was questioning whether that one was going to work there or not. One. Sometimes if you don't line up real well with the GPS, it's kind of like, yeah, no, bud. We're just going to keep on going around and not, you know, just going to completely miss that GPS line, right? No, oh, well. Just hoping we've got enough fertilizer to finish this field. I think we will. And then once we're done with this field, then we need to head down to... Field 33. Oh, I think that's... When I say head down to, I think that's like way on the opposite side of the map. Writing that down here somewhere? Yeah, field 33. Okay, actually, that's not too far away. Just right down the angle of the road here. Okay, that's actually better than I thought it would be. It is almost the opposite side of the map, but we have a road that, like, goes straight that way. So, speaking of road, by the way, where is our cultivating tractor at? I think that's him right there, right? Yep. Oh, and uh, speaking of tractors, well, when I was going to talk about the fence there, uh, if you remember their last episode, when we were doing the uh, slurry on, I don't remember what field number it was here again, but instead of fertilizer, I, mean, I was using slurry for that uh, field, and I don't think that pays real well. Uh, just looking at the math here, if we go back to this screen, it should still show it, right? Yes. So a fertilizer cost here from last episode of one, finishing up that field, I think it was a $105 contract or $115, I don't remember the exact amount of it, it was a hundred and something, $105,000, $115,000 contract. The fertilizer cost alone for that field cost $67,000, Evan, $67,000, and that was liquid slurry, by the way, so... And, of course, I mean, we don't have any liquid slurry, so it's not like I can go get our own liquid slurry somewhere. I suppose that we could, you know, if we really wanted to, like, get that set up on this map. I don't think we're going to go down that road, though, route, though, one, uh, especially this late in the series. Again, I plan on probably wrapping it up here, as I mentioned, after, like, this harvest season. So, um, which reminds me, by the way, we're probably looking at maybe another week's worth of episodes here, depending on how it goes. That's my uh, tentative plan here at this point, everyone. Uh, so tentative plan is probably one more week's worth of episodes. And again, it depends how we end up. But uh, the goal is to finish up the harvest for this uh, season. It's usually how I like to wrap up most of my series is everyone just uh, finish up with harvest for the year. And that, that's like a pretty good spot to wrap it up, right? So that's going to be kind of the goal probably. And again, I'm just estimating you have another week's worth of episodes, probably give or take a little bit. We're into the month of September. So, you know, by the time we get to October, there's usually not a whole lot going on. Um, look, there's the calendar. Yeah, October, November, I'm usually, by the time you get to those months, there's usually not a whole lot. So, we'll see what's how it goes here, but... And at this point, we're pretty much taking almost every single contract we can, with the <coughs> exception of uh, maybe some of them uh, potato contracts. We'll just uh, kind of brush over those. Oh, Field 30's finished. Okay. Let's uh, stop here a minute. Stop. Breaks. Okay. Yeah. It's topping hard, apparently. Let's get to you on to the next field here a minute. Got 72%. Okay. Yeah, it's probably not worth uh, going to fill up, I don't think. We'll just go right to the next field. So next field is field 57. Ooh, that field's way out there, too, yet. Must be a good-sized field, too, judging from how much lime it needs. Or the, the size of the contract, maybe I should say 88,000. So it's got to be a fairly good-sized field. Yes, yes, please wait. Saving content. And then they still don't go to the map. Okay. Oh, yeah, 57. That's that. Okay. Yeah, I'd be mean, nice if I could get some lime up there somehow. I might have to uh, maybe do a little more looking into that one there, everyone. And go. Okay, like, what the heck's going on here? Like, why is this thing not going? Nope, did not mean to do that. Yeah, this thing is like driving weird. Is uh uh vehicle control add-on. You, you like how I right away pretty much go to show or hide the transmission. Yeah, we'll just show that we don't need to see that. Um permanent wait a minute, permanent keep speed. What is that? 
That does not sound right. Hmm. Hey, there we go. Okay, I solved it. I, I was about to say, when you folks like how I just go right away to the vehicle control add-on mod, like that one's at fault. Apparently that one was at actually at fault. Uh, like, uh, yeah. I really should delete that horrible mod. I, mean, I, I really should. It is truly a horrible mod. It's, yeah. <clears throat> Not even sure what to say about that mod at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. Why am I keeping that mod? Is there, like, anything I'm using from that mod that I find useful? Hmm. It does have a nice GPS, for those of you wondering, by the way. I, although, I don't know if you want to really call it GPS. It's, I guess it's GPS. It just has a nice straight line tool. Uh, very similar to, like, the old-fashioned GPS. So it does have one of those that is fairly nice, Evan. Other than that, I don't think I'm using any of the other features that I can think of from the vehicle control add-on. Uh, in fact, uh, as I said before, I, for the most part, loathe and hate and detest most of its other features. Like, apparently that uh, speed feature there, like, yeah, we don't need that rubbish. I don't know, is, there, is there anyone out there like actually plays with that? I mean, good for you. If you like that stuff, Evan, go for it. Uh, for those of you who want some strange acting equipment and weird behavior... Vehicle control add-on. That's the mod for you. Randy, personally, uh, as you can uh, probably tell, has absolutely zero use for those uh, features and finds them to be quite... Uh, how would that... Like, what? I don't even know how that feature got turned on. I mean, that definitely was not turned on by me. That is for sure. Because, no. That would explain the weird behavior. Like, it wouldn't even go into cruise control. I'm like, why is cruise control not working? Like, you turn on and it doesn't do anything. I think we're going faster now, too. Is it just my imagination? Or are we going faster now? I have to go back and look at the first part of the video, but it feels like we're going faster. Could be wrong. Probably imagining things. Undoubtedly. Anyway, just a reminder, too, by the way, if you haven't already clicked the uh, subscribe button, don't forget to do that. Always very much appreciated. And, of course, if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications there as well. That way you get notified when the latest, greatest R.D. Allen video goes live. And that along with that too, Evan, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up there if you like the video. Only if you like the video, though. Or, you know, maybe if you don't like it, you can always give it a thumbs down too. That is always... Actually, yeah, right? I think you folks can... I forget how uh, YouTube has done that whole thumbs down thing again. That's right. I think you folks can still give a thumbs down. You folks just cannot see the results of the thumbs down, I think. I think that's how that goes, right? I, mean, I forget how that works again. I know there's a whole big thing about thumbs down here a while back. So yeah, I think you folks can see, or you can still thumbs down. I can see the results, but you folks cannot. And uh, by the way, as I've said before, and I think I've got some of the best viewers over on YouTube here, uh, very rarely do I get any thumbs down. That's probably <clears throat> the high quality content. <laughs> Who are we kidding, anyway? Uh, very rarely do we ever get any thumbs down. Get quite a few uh, thumbs up, which, again, always very much appreciated. Uh, reminder here, too, by the way, if you'd like to uh, catch some more RD Allen content, you can find that over on Twitch. Again, RD Allen on Twitch. That's where we usually have the multiplayer content and some other uh, other games as well. Uh, speaking of watching everyone, there has not been any live streams here this week. Uh, I forgot about them, but we had some other stuff going on here this week in the evenings. So possibly... Uh, Possibly tonight, hopefully, we'll get a chance to live stream. And when I say tonight, I'm on this should be going live on Thursday. So hopefully a Thursday night of this week, which will be, looking at the calendar here, June 22, right? Hopefully June 22, we'll be able to do some live streaming here tonight. So for those who are watching this video here today, I'd like to catch some more RDL content, be sure to follow us on Twitch. Just, you know, subscribe, follow over there, and you should get notified whenever we do go live. Oh, I forgot to complete the Field 30 contract, didn't I? Let's uh, just go do that here a minute. We'll collect on that one. Don't want to lose out any uh, potential contracts with money on them. Uh, I have had that happen before, as you folks have seen. You have a contract that's finished, and it just disappears on you. Like, wow, you just finished putting all that work into that contract. I mean, it's gone. Speaking of gone, by the way, I should go check on that cultivating tractor again, shouldn't I? See if he actually was able to refuel. 
and then make his way down to field 15. Don't see him up there. Also don't see him down there. Mm. Let's uh, stop here a minute. Oh, the brakes work much better now too, don't they? Wow. Talk about a slight improvement on the brakes there. Let's uh, visit the fuel depot here. No, he's not up here. Okay, I know I seen him coming up here. At least I'm pretty sure that was the one. I don't see him there at the moment. Also, what are you doing? Huh, I don't know. He must have took the longer roundabout way or something. Where is that cultivating tractor? And now just tab around, everyone. Oh, he's still he's still driving, yeah. I don't know where he's driving. Not there. Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. Speaking of this uh, field, by the way. These trucks are probably in the way, aren't they? They are still sitting down here from the last uh, harvest. I thought we'd have probably another harvest to go to, Evan, but... You know, September, apparently not a month for harvest here in the game. You know, who would have guessed, right? And, like, you don't harvest in the month of September. I don't know. Don't look at me. Oh, look at that nice, uh, cleanish uh, truck next to that one. Hmm. Probably should uh, wash that sometime. Yeah, we'll do that sometime. Okay, ooh, and you are at field 57. Okay, before we go back to fertilizing, let's get you going here a minute. And I predict we'll be making lots and lots of trips back and forth. I don't know, is there a way to, like, use auto drive for, like, refilling? Because, like, I always have, we have a route down there. Do you have the, like, the weird thing going on here, too? Uh, no, not that one. Control, control C is what brings that up, by the way. That off. That is off, so I think that was the one, right? Low brake force. Yeah. I think that was the one. So that one's already off. And we'll generate the course here a minute. Could not. Log may have more. Oh, wow. Okay. That's weird. Uh, let's try again here, then. Generate course. Oh, you know what? Uh, if I bump it down to one headland, will it work? I know what it is, everyone. Yeah. It's that funky little hook in the field there. Yeah. Forgot about that. The, uh, yeah, course play does not. Now, if it had a little bit narrower with vehicle, I'm going to probably be fine. But uh, at least for this here, like I said, course play does not like it. Let's see if we can maybe uh, fix that problem here a little bit. Okay, now I don't know if, uh, I might have to restart the game before this uh, takes effect, so let me try it one more time here. Uh, maybe, it's showing it right. Let's uh, try to bump that back up to two if I can. Oh, uh, there we go. It's not complaining yet, everyone. It might actually work. I'm not sure if that'll, yeah, that shouldn't bother our contract at all, I don't think, everyone. That little small area shouldn't be a problem. Okay, first waypoint. Drive the course. Problem solved, everyone. Just as simple as that, right? Just uh, do a little uh, on the side painting there. <laughs> Takes care of that problem. Okay, back to spread. See if we can actually finish this uh, field here. You got this. Uh, I, th I thought we'd have no problem finishing this field this episode of them, but maybe I'm wrong. Doesn't help when you uh, go off and do other things here, right? Anyway. Speaking of other things, then let's head over to the comment section, see what's what you folks had to say here from last episode. Uh, Vince was saying, nice job. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Christopher was saying, good video as always. Hey, thank you very much for that. Uh, Scene was saying the same thing. Great video as always. Hey, thank you very much for that as well. Like I said, always enjoy reading all your folks' comments. Um, 
apparently most of you folks left the same type of comment here because <laughs> Nathan was saying the exact same thing here. Um, not making this up, Evan. That's literally what's in the comments. Uh, Nathan was saying, great videos. Always keep it up. Uh, let's see. He also has more on this comment here, by the way. So there's a little more to this one here. Let me turn around a minute, though. Okay. No, I think we can actually finish this here, this episode. So we got this pass and uh, looks like a partial... Uh, that might be a full pass. Yeah, we'll see once here. Uh, anyway, yeah, again, back to Nathan's comment here. Keep up the good work. Use the Lime to Auger Wangen mod, and you can use Lime on any Auger Wangen. Oh, yes. Actually, you know what? I think I thought I had that mod. I wonder, does it just not show up in the shop? Yeah, I'll have to double check and make sure I've got that mod. I'm on. But yes, that would be... And I have looked at these. I'm like, uh, yeah, nope. It doesn't say they hold Lime. And I don't know if with that mod... Actually, uh, maybe Nathan would know here if you happen to know there. Nate does like, if you use that mod, does it actually like show the lime icon? Oh, wrong one. On the shop here, does it actually like show the lime on the auger wangen? Because auger wangens, that one definitely would be big enough to actually hold some lime. Now the whole uh, logistics of using an auger wangen for lime, I'm not sure about that one. That one sounds a little sketchy to me, but. Hey, if it works. Hmm. A comment in a language? I absolutely cannot read it all. Oh, actually, you know what? translate to English. Ah, for Mr. Orca here. Okay, and I'm not sure why would he stop. That was weird. Okay. Not sure what happened. I'm like, uh, why are we no moving? Interesting. Notice it does still use fertilizer, and if we don't move, good to know. And uh, speaking of fertilizer, there of course, but I think it goes without saying that we probably will not be doing any more of the slurry style fertilizing. Or I think we'll just stick with a pellet fertilizer. Although I would, what field number? I don't remember what field number that was again. I wouldn't mind uh, doing that field again. I don't remember what number that was, but like do that field again, but then do it with a pellet fertilizer just see what's what the difference is oh and this contract is finished okay well, let's uh collect on that one and then we have one more field 33 not bad forty one thousand dollars here almost i uh, will take that money we're almost up to six hundred thousand which, by the way, if you look at our money here, you can definitely see uh, it's like a slight progression in our, where is it? There we go. Slight progression in our contract income. You know, it went from 98 to 70, 400, 200. Uh, we might hit 400 here this time. Actually, this might be the way we're looking at it. This might be our all-time high here because we've got a couple more uh, fairly good-sized contracts to finish yet. Like the $88,000 liming contract. That one is definitely going to take a while. Okay, turn you on. And looking over at the time, Evan. Unfortunately, it looks like it is time to wrap it up here for this episode. So with that, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, Evan, thanks for watching. Until next time.